Okay, next we're going to hear from Matt Matros from Protein Bar. Hi guys. Uh, oh, first of all, I just want to say I'm very flattered that you guys would all spend your money nights to come out. And on behalf of the other speakers, thank you for doing that, spending your time and your money to come here to speak about our stories. Uh, so I was asked by the um, women that put this event on to just tell my story about how I started my company and talk a little bit about what motivated me and hopefully that can instill some things in you guys. So I am the founder of Protein Bar and I have seen some familiar faces so there are definitely some customers in the crowd so thank you for that, I really appreciate it. Um, Protein Bar is Chicago's healthy food um, quick serve. We have two locations now, one across the street from the World's Tower, one that just opened in River North at Clark and Kinsey and we have three more on the way uh, by the end of the year. And uh, Protein Bar is all healthy food. It's um, healthy wraps, healthy salads. We use uh, globally inspired ingredients such as quinoa, acai, agave nectar to um, make healthy swaps for a lot of the ingredients that you've seen in other fast food restaurants. For example, our burritos have half the calories of a chipotle burrito because we use a quinoa instead of rice and we use a whole wheat wrap instead of a flour tortilla. So if you haven't been to Protein Bar, please do. We have a few locations in Chicago. But tonight's more about me telling you about my story, and hopefully you guys can take something from that. Um, so a little bit about me, my name's Matt, I am 32, I grew up in California, and I actually grew up heavy. I was 50 pounds overweight, and given that my name is Matt, I kind of heard every fat joke in the book, so it sucked, yeah, I know, thank you for saying that, I appreciate it. Um, where were you when I was nine? Um, it was rough, it was rough growing up heavy, and uh, when I was 22, I was a sports agent for baseball players, living a pretty arduous lifestyle. I graduated from the University of Southern California, and I committed to a high-protein diet, complete with exercise and cutting carbohydrates, and completely transformed my life. I lost 50 pounds in the summer, and that was summer of 2002. After that, I ended up going to graduate school. I went to University of Michigan for a business program, got my MBA, and then, yeah, go blue, right? Yeah, yeah. He was a classmate of mine, actually. Um, and then was uh, recruited to come to Chicago to work for Kraft Foods. So I actually sold cheese for three and a half years, which I still can't see with a straight face. Um, and as the brand manager of Kraft Singles, I remember early in my career at Kraft, I was given an assignment to find out why Kraft business wasn't doing very well in Texas. So I stayed up till midnight, I was at the office real late, and I put together this entire presentation on why Kraft Foods Singles product wasn't doing very well in Texas. I was so excited, I put it on my boss's desk, my boss's boss's desk, and left, and the next morning I expected to walk in to whistles and ticker tapes and high fives, and no one said a single thing about my analysis on a Brookshire's account in Texas as to why Kraft lost distribution and singles business wasn't doing very well. It was at that point I knew that I couldn't work for someone else anymore. I wanted to work for myself. Um, I had several business ideas. And then um, I used to do triathlon, and when I would do triathlon, I would work out, and I would go to the health club after I would work out, and I would get a protein shake. And they used to charge $7 for these protein shakes, and they would put these little piddly scoops in. We've all been to the gym and been charged a lot of money for these shakes. So I did that for about a year and a half, I would get these shakes, and finally I was like, oh, I'm not gonna pay seven bucks for this. So I used to scoop out my protein, put it in a baggie, and I would take it to the health club, and they would mix it up for two bucks. Did that for another year and a half, and I realized, oh, there we go, that's what I want to do. I want to start a place that serves the food that I kind of want to eat. And it was October 17, 2007, and it took me two months of business planning until January of 08, and I realized I actually had a viable business idea. So I liquidated all my entire life savings, I got some loans from the government, thank you government, and so I started Protein Bar on May 18, uh, 2009, right across the street from the Wills Tower. Things have gone great, we've been open for a little over two years, Last summer, I was starting to think about expansion, looking into signing some other leases, and I had several customers of mine that had approached me about investing. And you know, I'll talk to anyone that says they want to invest. But what does that mean? I want to give fifty bucks. I want to give you fifty thousand dollars. I want to give you a you know, savings bond. What exactly does that mean to be an investor? So I sat down with everyone, and I found some um, very well-to-do investors that were customers-wise that wanted to give me some money to help the concept grow. So I raised 1.6 million bucks to fund stores two, three, and four, which number two opened in, in River North on June 1st. Number three is opening at 10 South Clinton in the West Loop. Um, actually in about nine days, if you guys have nothing to do on August 23rd, calm down. Um, and number four is opening at uh, Washington and Wells in the Loop. I'm opening a fifth one at State Lake 
and I'm actually closing out another fundraise for two million bucks to open some stores in California next year. So protein bar, protein bar has gone really well, but what I really wanted to talk to you guys tonight is about goal setting and how important goal setting really is. And you really need to ask yourself, what gets you out of bed every day? And when your alarm goes off, what is it that gets you out of bed? For me, it certainly wasn't selling cheese for craft foods. And I knew that for a while. When I was five, I wanted to go to USC. So everything I did between the time I was five until I got into USC, everything when I got out of bed, how can I make my kids better for getting into USC? And I got in, and it was great. And I went to USC. And then it was, I'm going to be a sports agent. So I set that goal to be a sports agent. So everything I did between the time I got into SC to the time I was a sports agent was, how can I be a sports agent? And I got it. It was great. And I lived life with an agent. It was awesome. And then I wanted to go to business school. So I set that next goal. Everything I did for a year and a half is, how can I make my case better for getting into business school? And did. And it was great. And I got in. Best years of my life. Go blue. Um, and then I got to Kraft Foods. And job marketing, got the job of craft. And then after that, it was, I wanted to start a business. So everything I did for the next year and a half was about starting a business. So what I implore you guys to do is ask yourself what gets you out of bed every day. If it's going to work for whichever company you're working for and you really enjoy what you're doing, then that's great. I mean, you really need to embrace that and empower that. If it's something else, then go after it and don't be afraid. For me, I always knew that my worst case scenario, if I started a business and failed, which a lot of businesses do, in fact, most of them do, I was gonna be okay. I wasn't gonna starve. I had people that love me. I had a degree, um, and I think the same thing goes for all of you. If there's something that you guys want, and you're a little bit afraid on how to get it, do some research, dive right in. And if it doesn't work out, then gosh, rest assured you have people that support you and love you. And if you don't, I do. Um, but just go go in on it. All, everything you got. And if it doesn't work out, then that's great. And I'm not really into cheesy lines. But men are sort of devoid of original thought, and they tend to quote a lot of things. They quote movie lines, what have you. Um, so one of my favorite books is The Alchemist. It's uh, by Paolo Coelho. It's about a boy who wakes up in um, Spain, and he quests across Egypt, questing for the pyramids. And one of the lines in the book, it's my favorite, it goes, if you want something bad enough, the universe will conspire in your favor. So think about that. If there's something that you truly want, whether it's that job or that promotion or start that charity or that girl that works in the cube across the way, if you want something bad enough, the universe will conspire in your favor. So you just need to get out of bed every day thinking about that and go right after it. So thank you guys so much. I really, like I said, I'm flattered you guys came. And I'll be here.